Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here on our Mother's Day Yoga Flow. We are going to get started here. It is six o'clock on the dot and we're not going to waste any time. May we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find that seat. I am going to start out in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and relax our mind and our bodies here today, ensuring that our backs are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies. When we sit with our backs nice and straight, we create extra space in our tummy for baby. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears, meaning we're not shrugged, Allowing those shoulders to relax down freely allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, using the down gaze to help round and center our bodies here today. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. And maybe we can hang out here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, we are reaching our palms upwards towards the heavens, allowing our fingertips to reach upwards. Shoulders flows up towards the ears. And maybe we can interlace our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Arms flow slightly towards the back. We are in a slight back bend here. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center as we flow our palms to the sides of our bodies, our fingertips connects to the earth. As we are using this pose to connect our bodies and our mind to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us without judgment. Simply being aware. As we hang out here in our silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms back up above our heads, coming into that seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, interlacing those palms back together, fingertips pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up, allowing our arms to flow towards the back. We are in our seated back bend here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. We're going to slightly separate our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Our palms are separated. Heart chakra is open, chin is up, as we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. May we use this channeling pose to channel in whatever is serving and needed for us in our lives, in our moments. Two breaths. <clears throat> As we twist our bodies towards the right, we're gonna come into a small twist. We're gonna breathe our palms downward towards the earth. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, finding our bodies in a seated twist. Keeping in mind, noticing how this twist feels in our body. Maybe not going too deep into this twist. Four breaths. Two more breaths.
exhaling the body back to center, we're going to flow into a seated star. Our palms are pointing out towards the side. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Noticing how this feels as we twist our bodies towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth, ensuring that we're not going too deep in the twist. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, we are in our seated twist, left side. Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center, we're gonna flow into that seated star. As we flow into that seated salute, exhaling down to our seated prayer. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. Spinal cords are nice and long. Chin is slightly up as we are gazed down or maybe our eyes are closed. As we relax here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing out of this pose, we're gonna come into a staff pose, breathing our legs parallel in front of us. Both of our legs are straight in front of us, side by side. However, if we have a big belly, maybe we can widen our legs just a little, or maybe come wide-legged, creating that extra space for belly. So doing what feels best for you here. With our heart chakra open, chin is up, spinal cords are nice and long here, meaning we are not sunken. Sometimes when we have big bellies, our torso tends to lean forward. So maybe keeping the conscious awareness to keep that back nice and straight. And if we are in our staff pose, maybe we can slightly hinge at our hips. If we are in our wide-legged pose, we can also slightly hinge at the hips. As we are gaze forward, or with our eyes closed, noticing that when we hinge at the hips, how it feels within the body. Four breaths. Going down as much as your body allows you to comfortably go. Two more breaths. Hmm. Exhaling back up to forward. If we are in our staff pose, maybe we can come into a wide legged here. And in our wide legged, maybe we can bring our right hand to our right toes. Feeling that revolve stretch here. Whenever our bodies are twisted towards our leg, we call it a revolved pose. So feeling this stretch here, noticing how this feels, and you'll feel it inside of your inner thighs here in your groin area. What we are doing is we are lengthening and strengthening this part of our body and allowing that torso to come down as much as we comfortably can without causing any pain within our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center as we connect this left hand to this left toe. And we're gonna allow our torso to relax over our left thigh. We are in our revolved stretch opposite side. Going down nice and deep as much as we comfortably can. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center as we slightly hinge at the hips, just taking a little slight hinge, leaning the torso forward. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to center, we're going to breathe this right hand downward towards our right foot. The back of the hand is connected to the earth with the palm facing upwards. Yes. And we are in our revolved position. We are still in that revolved position because our bodies are twisted towards that thigh. And maybe we can take this left hand and breathe it over our head and feel that stretch. Allowing our head to relax over that right shoulder. And if this feels well, only if this feels well, maybe we can go down deeper. And this is only an option. Allowing our torso to come closer towards that thigh. Allowing that left hand to reach downward towards those toes. 
We are now in our revolved extended hand to toe stretch. As we hang out here for three breaths, two more breaths, Exhaling back to center. We are in our wide-legged pose here. As we slightly hinge at the hips, just going down a little. Noticing how this feels. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we take this left hand, reach it over towards that left foot. Palms, the back of the palms are down on the earth. The back of the hand is down on the earth. Palms are facing upwards. As we allow our torso to lean over that left leg, we are in our revolved position here. And if this feels well, maybe we can take this right hand and reach it over our head, feeling that stretch. And we can hang out here and hold this pose, or we can go deeper, allowing our head to relax downward towards that thigh. Reaching that right arm over the head, connecting the right fingertips to the left toes. We are in that revolved extended hand to toe. Some people also call this a revolved head to knee. See how our head is close to our knee? This is a nice deep stretch here as we hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, we're gonna breathe our legs inward, coming into that staff pose, just for a second. Breathing our legs inward. Hanging out here, spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. As we breathe our palms up above our heads, feeling that stretch. Exhale into prayer. Breathing our palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears, allowing our mind and our bodies to relax here. Two breaths. As we flow into a bound position, breathing the bottoms of our feet together, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. In the diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies, creating that space for baby here. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our body, also creating space for baby. Now, just keeping in mind in our butterfly, it is a deeper hip opener. So if the hips are kind of tight, maybe we can flow into that diamond. It's giving that body a little a little rest. So whatever pose feels best for you, maybe hang out here. Heart chakras open, chin is up, two breaths. As we flow into that seated cow, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes slightly towards the back of the rump because we don't want to go down too much into that cat pose because we don't want to squish baby. So only going down as much as you are allowed to go comfortably. Two breaths. Exhaling back to cow. Flowing back to our bow position, either our diamond or our butterfly. As we use our hands to bring our legs slightly inward and we're going to cross our feet at our ankles and we're going to come into a tabletop pose. Finding our bodies on our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, tummy comes downward towards the earth, noticing how this feels in our lower lumbar spine. Chin is slightly up, head relaxes between the shoulder blades, cow pose. Three breaths. Exhale into cats. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the ceiling. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cats. Finding our pause at table as we take our Right leg, we're gonna breathe our right leg towards the back. Working on that sunbird pose here. We have our right leg straight out towards the back. Both of our palms are flat on the earth. And we can hang out here. We are in our sunbird. 
or we can go into that full sunbird by extending that left arm as we are gaze forward. We are balancing and strengthening here. We can also have the option to lower those right toes downward towards the earth. So either having that leg straight to the back or toes lowered. Listening to your body and doing what feels best for you. As we are gaze forward, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table. As we drop down to our cow. Exhaling to cat. Flowing back to our table as we breathe our left leg towards the back. Nice and high, feeling that stretch. We are working on that sunburn opposite side. And if we choose, we can breathe that right arm forward. Now we are in that full sunburn. And if we choose, we can actually lower those left toes downward towards the earth. Creating that balance and that stance. Whatever feels best for you. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to our table as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we are in a wide-legged down dog if we have big tummies. And if we choose, we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Hmm. Finding our pause as we shift our weight slightly forward, we are in our high plank, just for a couple breaths. Exhaling back to down dog. Dropping down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Gains and back in our feet. Our buttocks is nice and high in the air. Dolphin, three breaths. Maybe walking our feet closer to our torso. Two more breaths. Exhale, dropping down to our knees as we come into a wide-legged child's pose. Creating space for baby between the thighs. Torso relaxes downward towards the earth as our third eye chakra, our forehead, connects to the earth. <sighs> Allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward if that feels good. As we extend our arms in front of us, this is a nice option to extend the arms in front of us with the palms flat on the earth. Or we can flow into a child's pose, prayer hands. Whatever feels best for you. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing that torso to relax forward. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Five breaths, silent meditation. Extending our arms in front of us if they were not already with our palms flat on the earth. Maybe we can spine away our bodies out of this child's pose. Noticing how this spinal wave soothes and relax the spinal cord. Two more breaths. <sighs> Finding our paws at table as we drop down to cow. Exhaling to cat. Flowing back to our table as we come up to our hands and our knees. We're going to work on a camel prep pose here. So on our hands and our knees, we're not going to go deep in our camel unless, unless we're able, unless we choose. But we're just going to work on a camel prep here. Just working on 
the lumbar, the lower parts of the back. Sometimes when we get the big bellies, we, we sometimes feel lower back pain. So placing our hands on the lower parts of our back, knees has that nice stance here to create balance. As we allow our shoulder blades to melt slightly towards the back, allowing their head to relax between our shoulder blades. Our heart chakra is open, chin is up, eyes are gazed down or closed if that feels good for us. We are in our camel prep, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to our camel, we're going to flow on down to a puppy pose. Or wide legged puppy pose. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. As we extend our palms in front of us, we are in our puppy pose. Third eye chakra, forehead connects to the earth. Four breaths. Mm. Maybe we can flow into a puppy pose, prayer hands, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Extending those arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're going to spine away my body out of this puppy. Two more breaths. Flowing back to our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat, flowing our way back to our table as we breathe our right arm up in the air. Fingertips reaches the heavens, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm thrust through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we relax and soothe here, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Mm. And if we choose, we can wrap our left arm around our backs, or we can extend that arm above our head, palms flat on the earth. Four more breaths. And we're gonna come out of that pose. <sighs> Flowing back to our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table as we breathe our left arm up in the air, gazing up at our fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm thread through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward. And if we choose, we can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, thread the needle, five breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly unthread that, Left arm, we're going to come back to that tabletop position. Dropping down to cow. Exhale into cat. Finding our, back, finding our bodies back at our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our paws as we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into that complete forward fold. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. Or a half forward fold. And if we choose, we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that stance here. Hmm. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our half forward fold. 
slightly gazing forward. Exhale, complete forward fold. Yogi walking our feet a little bit further apart, creating a nice wide stance here. Mm. Connecting our hands to our ankles if that feels good. If we are in our bigger months, maybe we can stay in our half forward fold. Or if we choose, maybe we can flow into a rag doll by connecting our hands to our elbows, allowing that head to relax downward. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. And if we choose, maybe we can sway our body from side to side if we're in our rag doll, noticing how that feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center as we flow into our half, forward fold. Flowing up to our, our mountain pose, our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into our standing salute. Feeling that stretch, maybe flowing up to our tippy toes if that feels good. That's only an option. Exhaling back down to flat feet as we separate our palms, coming into an extended forward fold. I'm sorry, coming into an extended mountain. Our palms are separated. As we breathe our palms back together, coming into a standing salute. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Exhaling back to an extended mountain by separating our palms. Taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. In our standing salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. So here in our ex extended mountain, if we're able, maybe we can slightly lean our body towards the right, coming into that standing side bend. As we are gazed up at the heavens, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center as we lean our bodies towards the right. Standing side bend, opposite side. Exhaling up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing those palms down that heart center. Allowing the shoulders to relax downward away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale. Here in our standing prayer, our feet are planted and grounded to the earth. Our head, our crown chakra is ascending into the universe. Our crown chakra is ascending to new places as we allow our mind and our bodies to elevate to where we want to be in life. And when we grow and when we become, may we always be grounded and rooted in who we are and where we are. As we hang out here in our standing prayer for four more breaths, Two breaths. As we slightly walk our feet slightly apart, coming into a wide-legged standing prayer, as we hinge at the hips just a little. And we're gonna bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. Notice that we are creating our, our space between our thighs because we wanna always make that space for baby here. So we are in our chair pose. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we extend our palms in front of us. So now we are in our extended chair. Arms are up in the air. Two breaths. Exhale back to prayer hands. 
two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, allowing the body to relax down or flowing into a half forward fold if that feels best for you. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Flow into our half if we were not already there. Exhale, complete forward. As we walk our hands forward, breathing our legs towards the back, we are in that down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, coming into that nice deep stretch. Shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Exhale back, down dog. As we breathe our right foot towards our right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. Maybe our tummies are off towards the side here. If we have big tummies here in this runner's lunge, doing what feels best for you. Two more breaths. Dropping down to that knee, we are in that low lunge. And if we choose, we can lift our torso away from that thigh. We can breathe our arms above our heads, feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Framing that front foot, coming off that knee. We are back in that runner's lunge. Exhale to pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Maybe we're slightly off to the side. If we have big bellies, allowing that head to relax down here in our pyramid. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our dog by pedal on our feet left and right. Maybe find that pause as we breathe our left foot towards our left hand. We are in that runner's lunge opposite side. Maybe our body slightly off towards the side, creating comfort for that baby bump. And if all feels well, maybe drop down to our knee, flow into that runner's lunge. Having the option to lift our torso away from that thigh and breathing our arms up in the air, feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot. Coming off of that knee. As we straighten our leg, flowing into a pyramid. Coming off to the side, creating that space for baby if we need. With our head relaxed down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we bend that front knee, flowing back to that runner's lunge. Feeling the movements here as we exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm. Walking our dog here. Walking our feet towards our hands, flowing back to that complete forward fold, allowing the body to relax over those thighs. Maybe yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that stance if we need. Three breaths. Mm. Exhale a half forward fold. As we flow to our Tadasana, our mountain toes, palms are at our side. Breathe in, exhale. Feeling nice and strong and powerful here in our Tadasana pose. 
as we breathe our palms up to our salute, palms together above our heads. Exhale the prayer. Slowly back up to our salute. Coming into our extended mountain, separating our palms with our feet slightly apart. Maybe walk our feet a little bit more apart here. Breathing our palms outward towards the sides, finding our bodies in our standing star. Feet are nice and wide legged, palms are out towards the sides, standing star, heart chakras open, chin is up, feeling nice and strong and powerful here. Feeling like a star because we are a star. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, bending the knees, flowing down to our goddess stance. We are in our cactus hands. Feet, toes, flows outward towards the side of the mat. Feeling this goddess stance, building strength in the lower parts of our bodies, building strength in our pelvic area here. And maybe we can breathe our palms up to our salute. If we choose, we are in our goddess salute. This is an option. We don't have to do it. Exhale into prayer if that feels good. As we flow back to our cactus hands, palms are off towards the side. As we pulse our bodies up and down, building strength at our pelvic floor, preparing that body for labor, building nice strength here. Two more breaths. Finding pause, exhale up to that standing star, palms off towards the side, heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in, exhale. Two more breaths. Exhale back down to goddess, working the lower parts of our pelvic floor here in our goddess stance, coughing the body up and down, prepping that pelvic floor for labor. Three more breaths. Finding our pause. Exhale back up to that star. Flowing up to that salute, walking our feet slightly closer together. Exhale the prayer. Relax in the body. Pigeon at the hips, we are in that prayer hands, half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Mm. Exhale back up to our standing salute. <sighs> Palms above the head, feeling that stretch. Exhaling down the prayer, bringing our feet slightly in closer, but we still have that stance. And we're gonna slightly bend at our knees coming into that chair pose. We are in our prayer hands, chair pose. Yes, we are working the pelvic floor here. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Hanging out in this pose, we're gonna come on down to our yogi squat, our malasana. Coming on down to that squat pose. Yes. Keeping our palms at heart center if we choose. Relaxing our palms on our laps. This squat pose is a labor prep pose. You know, a lot of moms, when they're going through labor, some people even give birth in a squatting chair. So hanging out here in this Manasana pose, just building strength to the lower parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, breathing those palms upwards towards the heavens, palms together. Feeling that stretch. Exhale to prayer. Allow the palms to relax that heart center. Shoulders relax down. Two more breaths. Exhaling onto our hands and our knees, coming into that tabletop pose. Relax in the body. As we drop down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Going back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position just for a second. We're going to flow our bodies onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Maybe if we choose putting a pillow between our thighs, putting a pillow underneath our head here in our fetal pose, we're going to relax and soothe. Allowing that head to relax, placing our top palm on our tummies. 
Here in our fetal pose, may we visualize the fetus within the body, the baby within the body, or maybe we're trying to manifest baby within the body. Here in fetal pose, we're going to use this time to relax and soothe and go inward and simply manifest what we want and visualize what we are getting. Taking it day by day, moment by moment, trusting the process without anxiousness, simply being aware, always without judgment. As we hang out here in our fetal pose for seven natural breaths of silence. Mm Two more breaths. As we use our top hand to push our bodies out of that fetal pose, we're gonna come into a seated position, coming into a half lotus or a lotus or maybe even a cow face, whatever feels good for you and your body. Whatever pose we are in, our spinal cords are nice and long. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. As we breathe, our palms onto our bellies. Using this time to check in with baby, to check in with body. Simply showing a little love and affection to baby within or baby to be. Shoulders relax down, eyes are gazed down and closed. As we hang out here, meditating and visualizing. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms together. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back. Chin is open, heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Exhaling back to center, separating our palms. We are in our seated extended mountain. As we allow our right hand to come downward towards the earth, allowing our bodies to lean towards the right. Head relaxes downward towards that shoulder. Left arm flows over that head. We are in our slight side bend. Gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Both palms are on the earth. Fingertips are connected to our environment as we are tapping in to our environment. Taking notice of what is going on around us here today without judgment. As we lean our bodies towards the left, right arm comes up over the head, feeling that stretch. Head relaxes downward towards that left shoulder. Gazing up at the heavens. Seated side bend, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, both palms are on the earth as we are checking in with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us here today. Simply being aware of how we are feeling here today during our session without judgment, simply being aware. Always being kind and loving to self. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhaling into that seated extended mountain, separating those palms. 
twisting the body towards the right, coming into a soft twist, gazing, allowing those hands to flow downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're gonna flow into that star. Heart chakras open, chin is up, palms are off towards the side. Still in the body, feel nice and strong here. We are a star, we are powerful, we are manifesting, we are able. As we twist that body towards the left, coming into that soft twist, relaxing those palms downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder, see the twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling that body back to center, flowing into that star. Palms are off towards the side, feeling this movement here. Breathe in. Exhale to our salute, palms together. Breathing to our prayer, palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward towards the Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Spinal cords are nice and long here. Sometimes when we have our big bellies, it makes us want to lean forward and have a sunken body. But we want to keep our backs nice and straight here. Noticing that when we keep our backs straight, it helps with back pain. It also creates extra space in the tummy for baby here. With our chin relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms and heart center, coming into a seated prayer, shoulders relaxed. Breathe in. Exhale. Two breaths of silence. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care in prenatal yoga here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the lights in you all. Namaste.